Number six, bankruptcy hurts forever. It does not. Bankruptcy no longer hurts forever, um, not anymore. So there's two types of bankruptcy There's that we can file, individuals can file, uh, Chapter 7 and um, Chapter 13. So Chapter 7 is a complete bankruptcy. Like you wipe out all of your debt, no matter what it is, credit card, you got a home, you got a car, whatever it is, you wipe out all of that debt. Um, everybody that you owe. Chapter 13 is when you restructure the debt. So you restructure your debt. So um, when you restructure your debt, um, you might keep some stuff. You know, you might keep your house, you might keep your car, you know, things of that nature. So when that's, when that's the case, those, those are two ones. But now, um, where people used to think that, you know, you filed bankruptcy, I can't um, do anything else uh, any anymore. I just can't do anything anymore. Um, that's not necessarily the case anymore, um, for us. So you, you just don't have to do that anymore when it comes to that. Um, now when you file, uh, your bankruptcies, you can restart credit again. You can restart credit again and don't wait the seven or 10 years that it takes you, um, to start. You don't have to do that. All right. Not at all. You don't have to wait the long time that it, that it takes you to start. So if you draw a seven, I guess as a penalty because you're going to wipe out all your debt and not pay anybody that stays on your credit report for 10 years. You file the other one. Um, you don't uh, it's, it comes off your credit report in seven years. And of course, the longer you get away from it, the you know, the less impact it has on your credit report. But the strategy and what you should do is start to build credit as soon as possible. Will you pay higher interest rates? Absolutely. Your credit score is going to be bad. And even if for some miracle your credit score wasn't horrible, they see the chapter, you know, seven on your credit report. So they're going to charge you um, higher interest because of that anyway. But it's what it's the, um, you know, it's just the quote unquote penalty that you have to pay for filing you know, um, a bankruptcy. So what you can do is start establishing credit pretty much right away. And I only suggest this if you've learned your lesson. If you were overspender, you're always using your credit cards or whatever, and that's why you were in such financial straits and you haven't gotten that under control, you don't need to be establishing, reestablishing credit right away. You don't need to do that. You need to just pause and chill. You need to know thyself, right? But if there was an issue, a reason that you filed bankruptcy, maybe your business went under went under maybe you were laid off for you know a long time couldn't find a job any maybe only because you filed a, you had a divorce that your credit is bad and you felt that you had to file bankruptcy um and any number of things maybe you had a lapse of insurance for some reason on your home and your home burned down and now you owe you know two hundred thousand dollars on a house that is um basically a vacant lot now you might have to file bankruptcy. So if you can handle those things, you need to reestablish and start reestablishing right away. Five, six months after your bankruptcy is, um, is discharged, you should start um, trying to reestablish it, reestablish your credit. You want, you got questions? Contact me, 800 at creditscoreman.com so I can kind of tell you, put you on the right path anyway um, to restarting um, your credit. I've got credit clients that um, filed bankruptcy and now are knocking on the door of 800 credit scores after, uh, I think, four years. Four years filing bankruptcy. Um, and, you know, been my client for less than a year. So, you guys, hit me up. 800 at creditscoreman.com. 800 at creditscoreman.com. Now, we done for the show. We done. I had another thing about inquiries, but it's not a big deal. So, uh, let's do this. Happy birthday shout outs. Eddie Terrell King, yep, I said your whole government name. This is my little cousin who ain't so little no more. His birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday to you, uh, Terrell. Kelly Hill celebrated her birthday. Happy birthday, Kelly Hill. Linda Thomas celebrates her birthday tomorrow. So happy birthday to you, uh, to, to Linda. Uh, Rochelle Bible, Rochelle Bible, uh, old, old friend, just to kick it, man. If it was back in the day, we'd probably be hanging out today for your birthday uh, so her birthday is tomorrow so happy birthday to you Rochelle uh, Richard White 
Richard White celebrates his birthday. So happy birthday to you, one of my frat brothers. Uh, w- along with Titus Trask, another one of my frat brothers who celebrates his birthday. And tomorrow is John Cox's birthday. Mm-hmm. John Cox is one of my sons, the 14 Knights. Actually, my tail dog, mm-hmm. number 14 of the 14 Knights. So happy, happy birthday to you, brother Sands, John Cox. Look, you guys, you know how I got to do before I get out of here. Kobe, Cameron, and Carter. <laughs> I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm out.